Hi, I'm August 08, and all eyes are on me because I'm the black one in 88 Rising. Father issues, you bitch ass nigga, swallow your pride. Check. Heard the bad news. Heard the bad news. That I wasn't coming back for you. Down is true. Down is true. There's some things I gotta fix for you. Oh, can't fix your eyes looking into my heart. Say, oh, rocking and rolling, I dwell in the dark. Say what? I've got father issues. Mama told me not to play with you. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Is it Alex from your study group? Can't wrap my head around the thought of you sleeping with another man. You hit me hard with all you've got. Rolling Stones can't find a place to go. I've got father issues. Y'all, but that shit speaks to my motherfucking soul. Working with 88 Rising is tight as fuck because we put out tight shit, tight shit. And at first, everybody thought it was on some clout shit. Then they start realizing we actually making tight ass songs. So it's hard because we all make dope shit together and we, we write shit, produce shit for each other. And that shit actually be tight. My pet peeve in the studio is whack ass engineers. Like if it's a whack engineer in there and he's slow or she's slow, you gotta go, my G. You gotta get up out of there. And niggas who don't order Hawaiian barbecue, because Hawaiian barbecue be slapping in the studio. The weirdest compliment I've gotten on social media is <laughs> it's probably like, I like fat dudes, can I eat pork rinds off your stomach? But Blood On My Hands with Smino came together from, um, I had the flu and my boy Sad Money um, was like, yo, I got this producer in town named Govey. It's this kid from Toronto. He fires fuck, he was like, yo, come fuck with us. So we went over to APG, um, Mike Karen and them. We went to their studio and um, we was looking, like siphoning through a whole bunch of beats and Govey played this fucking loop and that shit was fucking fire. So me, Barney Bones, Josh Lockhart. I laid a melody down, then we took the song to my homie Josh Lockhart, Mama Car, and we wrote the song in his Mama Car. And that's how it came together. Then we were searching around for a feature, and we got Smino. 
I haven't met Smino yet. Shout out Smino. We made a tight song. Well, my definition for success will probably have to be um, just working hard. Because the most successful niggas be the niggas in the basement. Like, you know what I'm saying? Them be the hard, the hardest producers that be dropping are the hardest songwriters and artists and shit. Okay. That nigga David Beckham. Um, the hardest people are probably, the, the most successful to me are the people who are actually on the ground doing this shit. Cause you know, the heads of companies be the, 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 the lazy niggas. So the people on the ground, you know what I mean? Hi, I'm August Away, and you're tuned in to Once to Watch. <laughs>